here we are Monday May 18th I just want to show you my uh, self watering rain gutter system that I'm doing up for my parents uh, it's getting a little harder for them to work in the garden at uh, ground level so this gets things up a little bit higher and they go away a lot in the summertime for uh, camping so uh, we'll just show you what I got here we got a rain gutter 10 feet long some 2x6's on each side all screwed in Use some uh, screws for, I guess they call them barn screws, they have a, a little uh, rubber seal around them so we just screw the uh, gutter in place. I've got a, a notch cut here so I can put a float valve, so I've got one here with a float valve. And so basically I'm going to hook the line up to my rain barrel and uh, the rain barrel is going to keep these fed and the float's going to set the level and keep the uh, water a certain height. So the water is just going to wick up. There's a hole in the uh, milk crates that I got for free. Um, for some reason the milk guys weren't picking them up for, from a couple of restaurants and they got no place to put them so they throw them out and so I can get them for free. And I'm just cutting a hole in the bottom so you can see down through there. And basically I've got my fabric bag which is just uh, the landscape fabric. I cut it off at 28 inches and just uh, it's a little breezy out here right now and I sew up the uh, sew up the short edge so basically the 48 inch will fit the uh, basically we've got a, a one cubic foot milk crate and uh, so basically I just take the uh, bag put it down through the hole so it can get into the water and then I just stretch the bag over the sides like you see here stretch it over the sides put some dirt down in the hole in the middle so it actually goes down underneath and uh, you can see underneath there's uh get it to focus a little bit here the uh, dirt comes through and the bag will wick the water up and it will keep it moist without having to water it on a regular basis it's just being watered from the bottom the plants will get what they need from there and just fill it up with a good uh, I'm using a good compost potting soil mix and we're really curious to see how this is going to turn out this year this is the first year for this system I also did some uh, just some raised beds that I'm getting ready here for uh, tomatoes probably tomatoes in the deep ones and then I'm probably going to do peppers and these ones are a little bit, a little bit lower and then I'm back to strawberries again we're just planted some up here hopefully they'll take they were uh, runners that we uh, seemed to live from last year so we'll see how they take and uh, things go well maybe I'll finish the row off this year and fill it right to the end of strawberries so um, they're an Albion strawberry from Bessie's that I've been using it's been really good but this year I've ordered up uh, some other ones to go with the Albion so we'll see what they do and uh, there's what uh, things are looking like so far so hopefully uh, this is gonna work well and I'll try to get you some more videos later on as we get things planted up and hopefully they grow good we're like I say tomatoes and cucumbers probably in the back row probably a couple pepper plants and bean plants in the second row and part of the first row and then we're gonna do some carrots see what carrots grow like in this because uh, our ground here is just so clay everything's full of clay so it's hard to grow carrots so we're curious to see what carrots will do in these uh, in the crates and uh, with the holes in the sides of the milk crates um, we should have uh, good uh, air pruning for the uh, roots so I know they're not as tall as a five gallon bucket but uh, like I say if we uh, feed them well and they should uh, they should do good with what uh, what they got so I'm really curious talk to you later